Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek from Motion Nations and in this video we are going to create this sci-fi hut animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. It's very easy to create and it looks very professional. So let's begin. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with whatever you want just click on ok now let's begin by adding a new solid so you can right click go to new and let's add a solid just give it a dark color something like black just click on ok now on this one we are going to apply an effect called grid so just search for it and let's drag it onto this so right away you can see we have this really nice grid and we are going to change a couple of the parameters so first let's change the width and height slider so it's completely up to you, you can play around with these values. For this example, I'm going to set this to 100 by 100. And let's change the border thickness and let's set this to 0.8 something. Yeah, I think this is looking fine. Color, we can go with something like a very light blue. Just like that. So I think this is looking fine. Or maybe we can set this to one. Now I'm going to create one another solid layer so right click go to solid and just click on ok now let's apply fractal noise onto this so just search for it and drag it and let's play around with a couple of these settings so first I'm going to increase the contrast now let's go under the transformation and let's scale this up now we can decrease the complexity to something like this and let's increase the scale a little bit more after that we are going to search for another effect called fast blur just search for it and drag it over here now let's increase the blur amount something like this and make sure the repeat edge pixel is turned on let's set this to something like 50 and we can again play around with the scale and everything now we can animate the evolution by simply using these property so we are going to add an expression so hold on the alt key and just click on the stopwatch then type time times 400 or for this example let's go with 200 and now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice animation or maybe we can set this to 100 because it's too fast yeah i think this is looking fine now we have to set the track mat of this option to luma mat something like this so now you can see that our layers are partially not visible in this area and this is exactly what we want now let's add one more effect onto this let's search for roughen edges and just drag it over here and i'm going to change the border to something like 0.1 just like that so now you can see we have this really nice grid background which is exactly what we want so now we can start adding some elements onto this so first i'm going to enable the title and action safe now i'm going to select this layer and press ctrl d to duplicate it and on this one i'm going to just remove all the effects and for the time being let's hide this layer and also i'm going to remove this so that we have this plain grid now we are going to use the pen tool to draw some shapes over here so we will begin by clicking in the center something like this now we can just move to somewhere around here and let's click over here after that we can just simply click at this endpoint, something like this so that you can see that we have created this shape now its stroke is too high so we can probably set this to something like two yeah i think this is looking fine let's animate this so i'm going to animate it using trim path so go to add and let's add trim path now let's add start and end keyframe and let's set the both values to zero let's move to one and set both the values to 100 now we can select the keyframes press f9 or you can right click go to keyframe assistant easy ease and let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph now let's select these endpoints and we can probably zoom in now i'm going to change the graph to look something like this and let's do the same thing from here as well just like that so yeah, i think this is looking much better and you will notice that none of the animation is visible and reason for that is we have to just offset these keyframes little bit something like this so there you go now you can see we have this really nice animation 
We can also select all the keyframes, hold on the Alt key and let's click and drag the last keyframe so that the interval is increased. Something like this. Now you can increase the length of the line by simply moving this, these keyframes ahead just like that now we are going to duplicate this into the all four directions using the mirror effect so just search for it and drag it onto this and we are going to play around with these values so first i'm going to move this something like this so if your mirror is not visible then you have to change play around with these values so i'm going to set the reflection angle to 180 and now i can simply move this so that you can see we have this mirror thing so now if i play back here you can see we have the same animation but in two directions and let's select the mirror and press ctrl d to duplicate it one more time and this time we can probably change its value to something like 90 there you go so now you can see we have the animation in all the four directions which is exactly what we want now let's add more elements to this so select this layer press ctrl d to duplicate it and we are going to use the pen tool so i'm going to just quickly pick a point something like this and now we can probably zoom in and we can just simply start moving these points so you can see that right away we are getting some really interesting shapes and let's place it somewhere around here so i think this is looking good now we can also add a circle so let's go and select the ellipse tool just click and hold on the shift key and control key to create a perfect circle and let's align this in the center if you're not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it now we are going to add a couple of animations to this so first i'm going to add a scale animation so let's add a scale keyframe and in the beginning i'm gonna set this to zero then select the keyframes press f9 and we're going to do the same easing to this one as well something like this let's go back to the keyframe and let's play with its animation so let's make it somewhere around here also i'm going to animate it stroke so just search for the if layer and just search stroke and let's add a keyframe and in the beginning i'm going to set this stroke to a higher number something like 15 and let's press u and let's match this keyframe something like this and at the end i'm going to set this to zero so that our circle will fade away just like that now if you feel that elements are not coming from the center then you can just simply move the circle now we are going to add some flickering to this so in order to do that let's select the layer press t for opacity add a keyframe and let's zoom in in the beginning let's set this to zero and move one frame let's set this to 100 and again move to next frame and let's set this to zero once again now you can hold on the alt key and click on the stopwatch and you can type this expression loop out just like that so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice blinking animation in the circle now this is completely up to you you can add any number of elements over here so i'm going to quickly duplicate this and let me just press u and let's select the scale and i'm going to increase its scale something like this and also i'm going to add a little bit of dashes to this so in order to do that just go under the stroke and let's click on dash and now you can play around with these values something like this so let's divide this by 360 divided by 6 so there you go now you can see we have this really nice element and we can probably select this and let's increase the stroke to something like 20 now we have created this animation and it's completely up to you you can add more elements to this all you have to do is just duplicate the layer and just play around with the position of the points and you can see that it will give you a really different look just like that so once you're happy with it we are ready to move to the next step so let me just quickly select the background and let's delete this because we are not going to use this and let's enable our main background now I'm going to select all of these layers and let's right click and let's pre-compose them and call them elements. Now I'm going to select these layers and let's make them 3D. Now let's add a camera. So right click new camera and make sure it's 36 mm. Just click on OK. 
now we can play around with the angle so let's change this to something like this now this is completely up to you you can play around with this so i think this is looking fine now we can do one more thing we can select all of these layers and let's parent this to the elements now we can press r and we can properly rotate this something like this and just keep on playing with the camera angle we can probably zoom in a little bit just like that now you can select the background and we are going to apply motion tile to this so just search for motion tile and drag it onto this and set the output width and height to 200 and let's mirror the edges and let's copy the motion tile and let's paste it onto this layer as well so now you can see that we have the extended background now we are pretty much done with it and let's add some colors to this now there are two ways in which you can do that you can either go inside this and you can add individual color to these elements or you can just simply apply fill over here and just drag it onto these elements and now it's completely up to you you can pick whatever color you want and let's pick somewhere around here just click on ok now i'm going to select the element layers press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's change the color to a little bit of pink just like that now we can use this and let's move the elements just like that now we can select the layer press t and let's decrease its opacity to something like 50 and this way you can add multiple elements over here now this is looking very flat so we can add some glow to this so now to do that right click and let's add an adjustment layer search for glow and let's drag it onto this now i'm going to increase the radius and let's play around with the threshold and let's set the intensity to something like 0.5 and i'm going to really make this harsh something like this now select the glow press ctrl d and after that on the second one i'm going to increase the glow radius just like that so you can see that we have this really nice glow and we can also add depth of field to this in order to do that just select the camera press a a twice and let's enable the depth of field now i'm going to increase the aperture quite a bit so that we have this blurry sort of look now play around with this focus distance until you find something that is in focus something like that now you can lower down the aperture as your requirement or you can increase it to give it a really nice tight look but for this one i'm gonna set this to something like 800 yeah i think this is looking fine so if i play back so here you can see we have this really nice hud animation and again it's completely up to you if you want to add individual colors then you can select the layer and just disable the fill effect and then go inside the comp and you can start adding fill onto different layers something like this now there is one more thing that you can do you can add a little bit of camera movement into this so in order to do that just simply right click and let's create a null object and let's parent the camera to this and after that select the null press p and let's hold on the alt key and let's type this expression wiggle 0.2 comma 50 so now you can see that now your camera will have a really nice shake throughout the animation just like this now if you feel the background is too static then you can also add some animation to the rough and edges so hold on the alt key and just click on the evolution stopwatch and then type time times 400 so there you go now you can see that we have this really nice hard animation so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so if you have any queries or questions you can ask in the comments below and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one